When COVID came, it really had a huge effect on the kids. It put us back about 60% high. And so you had many families that would come and sit out in front of our rec center. Our casino was a big one just to connect. I remember at least one former FCC commissioner who says he might have died had he not done a Zoom call with his doctor early in the pandemic. And the doctor said, you don't look well, get your ass to a hospital. And getting to the hospital when he did saved his life. That's what this was about. If not now, when? That was the conversation in 2020. If not now, when? We need it for everything. Without high-speed internet, you are at a major disadvantage. What you have just said uh, is, is a description of what is an enabling technology, and I consider internet and computing to be enabling. I think a society is better when everybody has a chance to thrive. People are gonna be better educated. They're gonna be better prepared for jobs. They're gonna be healthier. Ubiquitous fiber broadband is absolutely a game changer. We have the ability to examine a patient in real time with full motion. It's more than just a commodity, an infrastructure. It's more, it's, it's connection between people. Everything is at stake if we don't close the digital divide. That's, that's the reality. It's not policy, it's not human, it's combined. We know these things have benefits, let's spread them broadly. We can indeed be technologically neutral, but we can't be looking to the technologies of the past to solve the problems of the future. Let's let every technology innovate, and let's just see what the market ends up choosing. And if the market ends up having a say, I'm pretty confident that most consumers would rather have a high capacity fiber connection than anything else. We cannot lead if we don't have affordable high-speed internet all across the country. It's what we need for the 21st century and beyond.